Welcome back to Family Feud, no. everybody. Go ahead, Lee. Uh, Felicia was actually a Canadian name for DiGiorno. Ooh. DiGiorno, eh? This is game three of our Family Feud Marathon for this weekend, and we're two for two on $10,000 wins. Will we go three for three? We shall find out. By the way, for those out there joining for the first time, welcome to my channel. Did you bring food? I did. Yep. <laughs> No. Oh. <laughs> I intentionally made the corner slices super small while I made the middle slices very big. Which means the pizza I just baked is a square shaped. Ah. Name a country you wouldn't feel safe visiting Iraq. Oh, Iraq's not there. How about Iran? Yeah, so it's in your chat. Well, let's hear some of yours. Yeah. I think Russia's number one. Actually, the number one answer is Iran. Yeah. I think Russia's right up there, too. Um, I'll go with uh, Russia next. Delicious. Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, and also say Lydia. Absolutely. Hey guys, we're gonna step away for a second. Alright. Russia is number two. I'll go with Libya next, uh, chat. I'll go with Libya. Okay. Libya is number five, said by three people. For some reason, I think I've got one. Lebanon. I'm going to go with Lebanon. Lebanon is there, number four by seven people. Oh, I'm bad. That's a delicious pizza. Welcome back, Rob. I think I've got another one. It would not. So I'm gonna try. For some reason, I'm thinking Israel. It's there. Iran, Russia, Israel, Lebanon, and Libya. Hey, uh, uh, which level are we at here? We're in game three, and we're about to be on round two. If, what's that, chat? Pakistan. Oh, yeah, Pakistan, yeah. Their, their, their 
Indeed. Something people do to un name something people do to unplug their ears on a plane trip. I'd say chew gum. People do to unplug their ears on a plane trip. It's very common for people who do that. I put chew gum, and that's number one. All right. Mississippi boom, won't you keep on shining on me? Yep, yawn is there, said by 22 people. I'd say they swallow hard. Just, you know, gulp really loud. Oh. What? Well, I was trying not to be dirty. <laughs> yep, there it is. Something people do to unplug their ears on a plane trip. We have chew gum, yawn, and swallow. Oh. I can't think of anything. Why is that? It has Viagra in it. Oh my! <laughs> and, it, and it never ceases to amaze me. You know what Viagra? You know what Viagra does to you, right? Yes, I do know. It's something that makes your pee pee grow. Oh God! Oh boy! <laughs> you leave the cake. Hey, Lee, you didn't really take Viagra, did you? No, I did not. <laughs> I'm just saying it to get by. I know. Something people do to unplug their ears on a plane trip is chew gum, yawn, and swallow.
miserably. Now let's see what the other family says. So how many more rounds till Fast Buddy in this game? Two more. All right, including the one you're playing right now. Yeah. That's what I thought. If Marty's not back by the time we make it to Fast Money, I'm gonna let Chef go second this time. Oh. We'll let Marty go second in Game Four. That is if he's not back yet. Well, I hope he comes back because otherwise, I'm gonna win four hundred pounds. Don't look at me. The pandemic is doing. He's making me do it. Oh, whole nose and blow. Yeah. Something that works well when it's windy, a kite. Thank you, Lee to K. Don't, I was actually reacting to a video I'm watching right now. Alright. That's why I said that. Alright. Okay. Give me the answer. I'll play. A windmill. Number one answer. You good, Chapster? Cool. Oh yeah, hey chap. It's confirmed. Not this Friday, but the next one. Guess what I'm doing? I'm going to buy that car. I think it's going to be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Honda Civic. Yes, sir. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting a down payment on it and then just do monthly payments. Up to date, chap. I'm excited! Thanks, old meathead Louie. All right. By the way, is Marty still deafened? If this round is still over, when this round is over, if he's still deafened, chat, I'm letting you go second. I mean, if this, when this round is over, if he's still deafened, that's what I meant. It's it's a case of in one ear, out the butt. <laughs> 
I don't know. Well, I haven't either, so... Oh boy. Director got 
48! Oh yeah, one year got forty. An umbrella that got twenty-two. You're over a hundred. You said Kelly that got twenty-six. A summer sport. You said having that with a baseball and that got. Summer sport. Uh, 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 football. What is it? 
I was thinking of swimming. How about swimming? Thank you, Mrs. Bingle. Forty points is all you need, Marty. You said a producer. Director was number one. You said a producer, which got eighteen. Okay. Editor didn't show up, by the way. Did twenty-two people say two years before ten for ten thousand dollars? Thirteen people did, so we're nine away. Did I help you with sunglasses? Nine people say it. Come on, baby. Yes, you there it is. Let's go. Three ten thousand dollar wins. This is our fourth weekend in a row where we've had three ten thousand dollar wins. Can we go out with a bang in game four? We'll find out soon enough. And uh, Batten, I know why Chap said you dumb bitch. <laughs> because you dropped the Batonitis bomb. And really, uh, we don't want to see an image of you having sex with a baseball. Thank you very much. Oh, not thinking about that one.